So I am back because of many, many requests for me to show you guys how I use my Canon Self Free Printer and how I um, set my photos for my project life. So I thought that I would give you a really quick tutorial just so you can see how I do my thing. Okay, so first up, my most favorite app that I use absolutely all the time is called PicStitch. And so you click right into PicStitch. You can download it on, if you have an uh, Apple phone, I guess in the Apple app, but I'm sure it's a pretty common app if you have um, another phone as well. So there are lots of different ways that you can um, organize your photos within PicStitch. I'm not gonna print this one, but I do wanna show you. Occasionally, you probably have seen me use square photos. And so if you'd like to print a square photo, you would simply hit the square shape, and then you can very, very easily, and I'll just pick a quick image, right? You can import the photo very easily and quickly right into, there you go. You can shift it a bit, you can crop it, you can hit the little icon there on the side, oops, and you can enhance it, you can use effects, you can crop it. If you like, um, adjust the image. A lot of times I will quickly just use this Arizona um, effect just to lighten the image just a bit. And then once you are ready to print, you can export the um, square photograph right into the photo album, right? So one other trick that I'll show you, I also sometimes, I'm gonna start over with the new collage. I'll use the square to start, but then I'll go into aspect and I'll go to six by four. And I will do the same thing where I will import the photo, easy peasy. I will show you this one. I'll probably scrapbook this at some point, um, but I made um, kale soup for dinner tonight. Oh my gosh, it was so good. The boys ate two helpings um, and I had a bunch of kale from the garden, so I picked a kale and then I had um, some mahi-mahi um, fish in the freezer and some onions and some garlic, salt, pepper, and olive oil and it was absolutely delicious. So let's say I wanted to use this photo. So again, I would just click it and then, in this case, right, you can move it and shift it the way you want. And so now I have this, um, it's really a little bit smaller than six by four once I printed with a border. And I'll show you, let's see if I can pull, oops, ah, sorry for shaking you. Um, this is what this looks like, about this size here. You can see, I use this one pretty often. Here's another example right so once it's printed with border it's actually a little bit smaller than a six by four all right so that's a wonderful option but the one that i use the most often is the one that has the ability to import two images and so it's normally this four by four square but again i can go to aspect and I can change the shape to six by four. And I have used um, four by three and seven by five as well. They're all horizontal and the change is fairly um, minor. So usually I just go with the six by four. So once I've done that with the aspect, I will go right on in and I will select two images that I wanna use. So let's see. I imagine eventually I'll do this one, All right? Here's the a photo I took earlier today. And if I decide to also scrap, there we go. So then I took a silly photo right after I picked all of the very yummy kale from the garden. Well, actually I had my son take it. And then here's a photo of the delicious kale soup. Oh, with rosemary too. 
Okay, so I've got these two images. If I'd like to go in and lighten or adjust the images at all, again, I can use this little pencil icon and very easily do that. Once I feel comfortable with the two photos that I've selected, I can go right to export and send them to my photo album. All done and saved. So now I will click out of the Pick Stitch app and I will go over to my Canon Selfie app. All right, so once I'm in the Canon Selfie app, it's really, really easy to use. I go to print, Photo Print and I will select, there we go, the image that I just created in the Pick Stitch app. I've got one image ready to print and now I can do a couple of things. I can change the settings. So I can change how many copies I want. I just want one. But I can also decide whether or not I'd like to have my photo bordered or borderless. If I go borderless, the photo will print almost to the edge of the entire photo sheet. I tend to go bordered and that gives me that slightly smaller photograph. It's about a two and a half by three. And that's the size that you most often see me working with. So I'm gonna go bordered and I'm ready to go. I've got one image selected, one copy and bordered. And then I'm simply gonna hit print. I've already connected my um, selfie printer via Wi-Fi. And so it's gonna print right behind me on my printer. So let's see if we give it a second or two or three or four. Okay, I hear it printing over there. All right, I'll be right back in two seconds when it's ready to go. Hey peeps, I'm back. And this is what we have. And just so you can see how this works, and you've probably seen me do this a million times, but I'll show you again. So if I'd gone with the borderless image, it would have printed I don't think I have any examples. Let's see. No, it would have printed um, to the basically to the very edge of the sheet. Two different images. All right. Oh, one other thing I will show you. Hold on a second. That I didn't show you because you've also seen me. Um, sometimes I have printed two photos on one three by four. Um, sheet so I get two photos in here and usually the way I do that is I will use this one and I will import the two images into this sheet so since this is a four by four square this ends up being um, like the three by three here with the two images top and bottom and that allows me I'll show you again that allows me to create these types of images. And I can either trim them or I can leave them connected. And that really helps me get multiple photos into a layout without adding a lot of bulk. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then, in case you've never seen me do this before and you're just joining me for the first time, I could go with a lot of border, but I tend to just add, and this is totally me eyeballing it, just a little bit of white on the edge. And that's kind of just the standard way that I do it. Again, I'm not measuring this much. And then because there's not a lot of white in the middle, I just try to get down the center. And then I try to have the two sides um, in terms of the white border pretty close. And so that's what that looks like. And then if I were going to put that on a card, say, for example, this Allie Edwards little card, that's what I would have. Okay? So I hope that helps. I know you guys see me um, use a slightly smaller size photo. I don't know how I started doing this, but it's just how I roll these days. Um, and I like having that extra little bit of space to play with and to embellish and just get creative and funky. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!